I've got this vision of this thing I want to do at the bottom of the ocean in Key Largo, Florida. I'll tell you more about that in a moment, but part of the vision is who I want to be there. Are people who, they've already built something. They have a structure in place of some kind. Maybe it's a startup, maybe it's a bigger company, maybe it's um, an organization for a nonprofit, and they've created this, all right? They don't just have a position in some corporate job where they've been plugged into a structure. They've created this structure. I'm calling them loving leaders. These are leaders who are loving. They have big hearts and they lead with their heart. For them, the most important thing, more than money, more than fame or status, more than success and achievement even, is the journey of being in their heart and expanding their heart. If you know one of these people, you just know it, right? You just know, oh, yeah, Bob, like that guy just lives from a place of love and service and he is on a mission to serve the world and to spread love in the world. And his way with his paint company or with his you know, service business or whatever, his legal for whatever it is, his deepest purpose, the thing that most drives him, his modus operandi, the, the thing that's primary for him or for her is this, this love, spreading love and bringing love into the world. Despite the fact that they've created success, they seem to have it together, they don't have a lot of the common fears around money or what are people gonna think of me, they're willing to look to the places that are their edge and their darkness. You know, I meet a lot of people who are successful leaders and it's like, they just got it handled and there's no, there's no dark corners, no, nowhere to look. And to be honest, there's a point in my life, especially when I first met my wife, it's like, I got it handled. I don't need to go on personal development courses. Like I've got this stuff handled. And it wasn't until I had some great coaching that started to poke and prod in areas that I never looked at that I realized, holy shit, there is some depth here that I can explore. There are some dark corners that I have yet to look into. Um, and the thing is with people that are in successful positions or, or leadership positions and are successful is, they can get by in life not having to look at this stuff. They might not ever see it. They might have blind spots and blinders on. But the people that I want to be in conversation with are the ones that are at least willing to look in that direction, at least willing to be open to explore that. This is what I'm looking for. These are the people that I'm looking for. So if you know somebody like this, introduce me to them. I would love to just spend time creating with them a one-off conversation for a couple of hours because of who they are and what will happen if we come together in conversation. If you introduce me to somebody like this, I know with absolute certainty if I sit down and we spend two hours creating, we're gonna create some new insight, some new way of being that by the end of that conversation, they're going to be transformed in some way. They're going to be slightly different than they were at the beginning and that difference is gonna be a greater coherence, a deeper integrity, a more or connection with capacity and the purpose that they already have. And the cool thing about that is even if, even if we never meet again, there's a little bit more love in the world. And there's a little bit more love in the world inside a structure that has leverage and scale and impact. And we get to watch what happens as a result of that. And that's fun, there's fireworks there. So this, even if it's only that and you introduce us and we create that, fantastic. And the thing that I'm doing that I mentioned at the beginning is I'm creating a container for a weekend. So we're gonna sit in conversation on the beach for a couple of days and we're gonna build incredibly strong trust and we're gonna ask questions that are challenging and we create a little bit of alchemy. Alchemy is a metaphor I'm using. There's three components to alchemy, right? There's this really tight container, strong container. There's the right ingredients, the right leaders and people going in, and then there's heat. And the questions that I bring, the challenge that I bring is heat. So if the container is strong and the ingredients are right and the heat is just enough, gold will be created. And I've seen this over and over again. That's why I do coaching intensives privately and why I do them with groups of people. I wanted to bring the metaphor of diving deep inside a container to life. And so I found this venue at the bottom of the ocean in Key Largo, Florida. It's the only one like it in the world where you actually scuba dive down to access it. It's a very strong container filled with compressed air. There's big portals in it. You can watch out with fish swimming by. You come up inside this thing. You can remove your scuba gear, breathe natural, normal air. We'll have it for the entire night. And we have the culminating conversation there inside this container. Now, I just love the idea of the space. For me, space is powerful. So if we're doing this inside a space that's actually a physical container, with tight container, with compressed air inside, the bottom of the ocean, we're literally diving deep. How will that space help as an ingredient to create even more psychological, spiritual alchemy. What will be created as a result of that? I'm so excited to find out. And right now this is a vision. I'm in conversation with a handful of these leaders that are in my world right now, but I need to meet more of them just to make sure I meet the right ones and the dates work for everybody and da 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 da. So if you know somebody like this, I'd love to be introduced. 
But most of all, thank you for watching this whole video. I didn't know I was going to talk this long. Thank you for sitting with it and being present to it and at least sharing and listening to this vision that I have. And any help you are in creating this, I'm very, very grateful for. I love you. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.